We've got like 15 or 16 logins, but I think there's going to be a lot more at some point, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, um, right. So, if, if everyone's logged in, you'll probably see the home page. Um, and, yeah, it's basically just, just got quick links down the side and, and the menu along the top. Um, you don't really have to worry about things like campaigns and gallery. Um, and, uh, you, all you really need to worry about is the projects, the media, and the uploads and the exports. So um, if, you, if you want to um, go to the Upload tab, uh, this is where you can basically bring some footage in. So um, yeah, um, if you want to uh, upload some of, on, on each of the computers on, on the C drive, there's um, You'll see, a, you'll see a folder called Cadarn Workshop. So if you click Browse, browse Files there, and if you, on your computers it's on the C drive, on mine it's on the desktop. But <laughs> if you find Cadarn Workshop and then Project Folder, and if you upload, if you, if you go to Footage, has everyone got that? Um, oh, sorry, no, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. If you go to graphics, graphics, yeah, and if you select both the Cadon animated stinger and the Cadon logo, if you hold shift down to select both of them, got, okay. Got that, and then you can just, you can, you can click open or upload, and you, then you'll have this, this, <laughs> This button here, you need to just click start, start upload, and that's basically how you get footage into Wii Video. <laughs> it's, it's that easy. Um, you can also import from you know social media sites like Facebook, or you can just import from Dropbox. Yeah, well, that's that's um, is that Instagram? Uh, oh, flick, if you hover over them, yeah, Facebook, Dropbox. That's Picasso. So that's Google. Yeah. You can just import from, if you've linked, you can link your Wii Video account to all your other accounts as well if you want. Um, how old is this account? Is this for? Um, the, the, these accounts. Account the, yeah, this, this is what Cadon's bought, um, basically signed, signed up with Wii Video for, for lots of accounts in a shared storage space, like a, a lot of, so we, we've, we've all got like premium accounts, I think. So. Quite nice. <laughs> yeah. So we can use the pro version, can we? Yeah, we, well, the premium version. There's, I think there's three versions of Wii Video. There's yeah. the sort of standard, which is really quite limited. Then there's the premium, and then there's the pro. And I think the premium allows you to export at 720p, which is, yeah. you know, reasonably high enough. So we can use CAD Yeah. Accounts. Yeah. And yeah. How, how do we do that? Uh, well, this is, it's actually, at the moment, we've got these sort of logins that are, you have at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, um, but. There's 16 accounts at the moment, but there'll be more. Uh, you'll be able to access it through the Cadon website, but that's that's sort of in development at the moment. Dan, Dan, our, our web designers, um, working on that at the moment. So, we yeah. Think mm. Christmas. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Right. So those are uploaded. So now, if we go to, um, if you go to the um, media tab. Um, I mean, oh, oh, mine's still uploading. Is is is? Has yours finished up? Is yours finished? All finished? Oh, okay. Okay. It says completed, but it says fifty percent. Right. Not right. Ah, yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Right. Ah, yes. If it's a, it's there's a, there's a little bug with Wii Video. If it gets to fifty fifty percent. But it says completed on the right, then it's completed. Yeah. <laughs> so mine's just got to wait for mine. <laughs> uh, Should we upload the footage as well now? Uh, it's, it's, we, we haven't. I've succeeded in the, in the two graphic images. 
Yeah, that, that was basically just, that's all we need to upload, is, is those things um, for now. No, the fo footage we have shared, we have on a shared folder, I'll show you that um, in a bit. It was just to sort of show how to upload, really. Um, okay, so once, once uh, I'll leave mine to upload in the background, actually. If you'd like to go to the Media tab, um, this is where you can organise your um, footage. So you can, if you want to create the file structure that Lizzie was talking about, over here you've got this new folder icon there. <coughs> Yeah, um, if you'd like to click that and then create sort of footage folder and then create another one and audio and another one graphics and images. Sorry? Footage, audio, graphics, and images. Using the, um, the little, is it, is it going okay? So it's all under. It's just good practice to keep all your, you know, different files organised. And then, and then here you can you can either you can either click on the footage, and just um, you can you can. Just, oh, sorry. Okay. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can't. You, yeah, you can't drag and drop. It, it's funny because if it looks, it gives you the impression you can, like you can do this, but it doesn't do anything. So, um, they might still be implementing that sort of thing. We video. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it? yeah. There's there's a few little glitches with it, but it's mostly okay. Um, so you can either select um, the two, the two. Um, let's just see how my upload's doing. No, oh, it's done now. That's good. Okay, so I can select both of these, and then you can go actions at the top here. Yeah. If you tick. Or you can, or you can select that if you want. And then if you want to move them to the um, move them to the graphics folder. Oh yeah, you have to. Okay. Am I moving too fast? No, you're fine. It's just okay. Some people, we're, we're, we're just keeping up with you. Okay, yeah. So you can select the graphics folder and then just click OK and then. I'll leave you to do that. Okay, and you put in graphics. Awesome. You've moved something now. <laughs> yeah, so they're in the graphics folder. So that's, that's basically just how to organise the media in Wii Video. Um, so you just got upload and, and then you upload there and then you, you organise it there under media. Um, right, so then, then what we need to do is we need to create a new project. Um, so if you click on the projects tab, and it's a good idea to create a folder first, just to keep things organised. It's a good idea to sort of create a folder. You can call it your name or something. I'm just called Matt, and then just in case multiple people use the same <coughs> login. <laughs> um, and then within there, you can create um, create a, um, a new project. Oh, actually, in the folder. Y yes. Yeah. Oh. You can create it in the video, right? Yeah. And we call it um, we call it VegBox. 
yeah, you can call it whatever. But this is this is going to be all our footage is um, about the veg box scheme at Aberystwyth University, isn't it? So, <laughs> so then and uh, so then you've got your project folder, and then you can create the video, which is basically where you start editing. Fold it yourself. So you make a project folder in. Yeah. And you can then create the video file in that. Yeah. It's a little bit, it's a, yeah. It's okay, and you're putting instructions on the CAD on the floor's folder. Yeah. In the near future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be the same thing as what you did with the cheat sheets. Hey? Cheat sheets. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to try and look for these as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stuff on yeah. The video as well. really yeah. yeah, the help files are great actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, this is this is for creating the videos, um, and then you you can, yeah, you, you um, through the CADON website, we should be able to you should be able to link to the YouTube accounts and um, sh share things that way, um, but that. We need to talk to Tom and Dan about that. <laughs> yeah, because that's still in development, I think. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Has everyone got to that point? Yeah. If you click create new video, and then it, it's it, it, this is the loading page. This is just some. It says something different um, depending on uh, how they're feeling. I think at we video, and then this is the video editor. So now you've got into the. Um, <coughs> Yeah. So is anyone, everyone in the video editor now? The screen. M make sure you're in. Make sure you're in the advanced mode. So it says timeline A. Because you don't, you, we don't want to use the um, simple or storyboard mode because some of the features are restricted. So. Yeah. Make sure it should be in advanced, but by default I think. But make sure it's advanced. Uh, it's un I think it's unlimited. Probably yeah. Like yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. I yeah. I haven't found a limit yet. I mean, I haven't added that many layers, but there's there's plenty. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So. Okay. So you've got your timeline down here, and then you've got your media here, so you can see the. You can see the footage you've just uploaded. So and you can play it here as well. So. I was just playing the footage in, in, the, in the time. Yeah, yeah, sorry, the, the black one's just a still image, yeah, but the white one's a video, yeah. Where, where are we at? Ah, we're just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, you can view the footage here that you've just uploaded in the My Media section there. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, sure, try. <laughs> so you, you can see the media section there yeah okay so um, if you tried playing it you can play it okay so you hover over that and you can play um, so the first thing we, before we save any project you actually have to have a piece of footage on the timeline before you can save the project with we video so if you want to just click and hold and drag it onto the main channel down there So if you click on the, the white Cadarn logo and hold and drag onto the main timeline. Does it matter which one? Uh, if you oh, drag onto the, the one, I see, yeah. yeah, or, or well, drag it onto the main one. Yeah, main for now, which oh, is main, just main. yeah, yeah. How do you save it? Uh, save it. 
No, we're just getting to that bit now. Yeah, you have to have a bit of footage on the timeline to save. Otherwise, you know, it won't save. But Na okay. So once. <laughs> no, we're just just getting there. Yeah. So you can you can save it, save it now on the top right here. So, see that where it says untitled video. If you click on that, then you can save it. So we'll call it um, Veg Box Zero. Ah. Where it says untitled video, the top right, on the blue bar. And it will automatically save it in our files that we created earlier. Yes, we, we, yes, that's it. Yeah. So if you just click save and then... And then click OK, and then that's now... That's now ready for you to start editing, and it's all in your folder and ready to go. The, the mic, if you go back to, well, you don't have to, but I'll just show you. Um, you can see now, I've got Matt Vegbox, and then Vegbox 00, which is the which is the project, the video, and then. Okay. Shall I carry on? Hold on one second because we've lost the project while serving. All right. Uh, yeah, if you select, if you save it there. All oh, right. So and then and then type in veg box. Yeah. And save. Yeah, so you click edit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It might be struggling with everyone's the bandwidth, maybe everyone. <laughs> How's everyone's computers? I think this one seems alright, but how's yours, Anne? Is it? All right. We've got bandwidth issues. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, this is on Wi Fi and it seems all right. <laughs> yeah. um, what should we do? Should we wait for the network or should we? Uh, and not working either. Okay. Is it alright if I carry on then? Or. We'll look after oh, the guys who've gone. Yeah, we'll okay, okay. Yeah. So this is the play this is the timeline down here and the in the playhead here. You can click and drag it from left to right to scrub along the video and you've got you've got the time along here in seconds, minutes. Um, you can press space to play. And stop. Um, just one thing about um, video clips with audio already in them, they, they won't show a separate audio track in Wii Video. It'll just be all contained within the one foot one track there. Um, okay, so let's just talk about basic trimming and editing. 
in WeVideo, there's, there's various ways of trimming a clip. If you click on it, you've got um, these blue bars here. You can either, say if you want to trim the white off the beginning of it, um, you, can, you can either click on the, on the end of the blue bar and drag it like that, and then that will trim the start of the file, start of the movie file. So that's taken, taken a bit off the beginning. Um, or, say for example, we want to take the end off, you can also click, there's a little cut tool here. Can you see that? It's, 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 it's the, yeah, the little, little, little cut tool here, it's called Split Selected Clip Up Playhead. And wherever you put the green, the green playhead cursor, it, it'll cut the video. Yeah, just cut. Yeah, no transitions, just cut. Yeah. Mm. How, you, how you doing? Mm. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, um, um, you can. If you click on, if you highlight it, let's just have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you can do that. Yeah, if you move it across, it'll cut wherever this green bit is. So if you move it along, and then if you click cut, yeah. It's cut it now. Yeah. So you can don't delete that bit. Um, the bit that's greyed out. Um, it's well, it's it's just wherever the the, the green playhead is, the green, wherever this is, it will cut. Where you, where, when when you press the cut. Oh yeah, and, and yeah, it's just cut it. Now you can select that clip or that clip. It's the same. It's the same clip. So you can if you select the yeah, just trimming it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just just you can. There's a little bin icon there, or you can just hit delete or backspace. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Well, basically, the the. Um, this is this is just the bit you have selected. This is the, it's the same video file, but it's like if you imagine it as a piece of film, it's just you're just taking a pair of scissors to it, um, and it's the same video file. But now it's just um, you just select that bit if you want to get rid of that bit, or that bit if you want to get rid of that bit. So if we delete that bit, it, it'll start. It starts there now. <coughs> But we've always it's always still there because we can we can essentially we can edit that cut point and then we can go back. The, the blue bar here basically from there to there is the entire length of the clip. But the blue bar shows what's what's actually being played. So How's everyone doing Not with that? Right, yeah. Premier, yeah. 
I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the position Yeah. Yeah, no. No, you're right. That's a shame. Um, I, I think. Yeah, I know. It's bizarre. This is on the Wi Fi and it's fine. <laughs> So how's everyone doing with the cutting of the clip? <laughs> okay. So you can you can trim the clip that way with the blue bars, or with the cut tool, and then you can delete sections like that. <clears throat> okay. So those with internet connection. <laughs> Yeah, um, we've got um, a shared folder here with all the f with with, with pre-uploaded footage. Basically, we uploaded all this. Um, Lizzie filmed it all. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just to save time, basically. So if you if you want to look in the um, shared work shared folder workshop, and if you look in the veg box folder and day one. There's lots of footage in there, and you can play on it. Play, play sorry, play any of the clips. <laughs> you got your internet back yet, Anne? Yeah, just have to reboot. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, this one's Peridon, but it's not, and I've got Wii Video up, but I don't have a login, so... Oh, the login, login... I've got the login for the computer, but what's the login for the Wii Video account? Ah, there you go. Oh, right, okay, yeah. sorry. If, as long as no one else is using that one, but... Yeah. Well, it's not for me, it's for... It's a ah, double. okay, yeah. Someone else might be using that account, though. 14. Oh, was it, was it... Playing with this, then, we're just bringing stuff in, or is there something specific? Um, yeah, if you'd like to bring in, um... If you drag, oh, let's see, the, the um, if you go to the, you, well, basically, you can play any of those pieces of footage, but if you'd like to go to the winter farm folder, actually, and drag in, say, say the first one, if you drag it onto the main, the main uh, track, you'll notice it'll automatically snap to the, um, the logo so there'd be no gap basically you can't you can't sort of the difference between the main track and the other tracks is you can on the other tracks you can move the footage wherever you want but on the main track it'll automatically snap to the previous bit of footage and you can zoom in and out here at the bottom so that's the difference between the sort of these tracks and the main track So, so how's everyone doing it with that? Has everyone managed to do a sort of edit and things? And because oh yeah. so let's trim this bit of footage just to. Just a bit using the blue bars, maybe. It it doesn't actually. When you when you when you edit with the blue bars, you can just you can just yeah you can just edit. It's probably the easiest way of trimming a clip down. Okay, and you've got you've got normal undo command, which is Control Z. You can always undo, which is just sort of the standard Control Z. Um, I don't know where you are, but you might just get me. I mean, so to speed. I've told where veg She's up to Okay, yeah, but yeah. You might want to just check. Yeah. You got. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, you can drag. In the bins. Well, if you drag, maybe if you drag, um, just to keep it the same as the others, if you want to, oh, right, if you right. say, it doesn't really matter. I can um, delete that, can't I? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, just, yeah, just, yeah, that's it. Right. If you click on the winter farm and drag in, say, the first piece of footage, the reason why we're using, yeah, and drag it behind, it's just because it's got noise, it's got background noise that's good to edit later so we can show the audio channels working. Okay, so has everyone got the Cadon logo and another piece of footage behind it? Um, so now we can click on, if you want to click on the graphics tab here, next to the, you've got the media tab there and then you've got the graphics tab t t uh, there. It basically just contains loads of um, ready-made pieces of video by Wii Video that are, that, that are free to use. So you can just, you can use those. I mean, some of them are a bit, a bit dodgy. You might not want to, you know, you've got to be careful because <laughs> they, they, might, they might look a little bit ugly. But, so those are just ready-made pieces of video. Um, but what's, so that's under backgrounds, under the graphics tab, and then you've got solids. Solids are really useful if you want to overlay text. You know, you just you can basically drag in, say, for example, the black. It's just a colour. You just drag it in between the two clips, and it'll automatically insert it then between the the logo and the next piece of footage. So you can play that, and it'll go to black, and then it'll show the next piece of footage. But obviously that's a bit of a bit of a harsh cut. <laughs> and likewise, you've got frames and overlays here, which is sort of more ready-made um, graphics. But you can look through those in your own time. They're sort of <laughs> I'm not sure how useful they are. But solid solids are useful. And if you click on the transitions tab, am I going too fast? Just, just there, yeah. Yeah, and then you've got your, your simple crossfade there and loads of other complicated ones, but you want to avoid the complicated ones because they'll just be distracting. And then to, to add a transition from, say, the Cadon logo to black, you just, you just click and drag the transition between the two, like any other piece of footage. And then you can play that and see the result. And then it just fades from the logo to black. And likewise, you can do that between the black and the farming piece of footage. So there we go. You can extend these, um, if you zoom in, you can extend these transitions or shrink them in the same way as you can any other piece of footage. So now the fading will be quite a lot longer. Or you can shrink it just by clicking and dragging on the edge, edge of the footage like that. When the arrow changes to the, when the, when the cursor changes to two arrows going sideways. How's everyone doing? We're just adding the transitions between, yeah. Just adding the crossfade transition. No, it's probably best to avoid them because they'll just, well, Lizzie, Lizzie feels very strongly about using crazy transitions because they're just so distracting. Um, and, and you never really see them in you only see them in really amateur stuff. <laughs> no, it's best just to stick with a crossfade for just fading from video to colour and then, or from video to titles, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, so we got the transitions in and adjusted the length if you want to. Um, 
How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I can't change from timeline to. Oh, you're, you're on advance. Oh, Ready? Yeah, that's, if it says A, hey, that, that's, that's great. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's all good. <laughs> Is it going okay? It is thanks to my help. Oh, right, yeah. So if you drag, if you, you want to drag in the crossfade between there. Those two pieces of video was, footage. Was, oh, you've done it. Oh, yeah. It down oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Okay. So now let's bring in some separate audio footage. So, if you go to the audio tab, which is just there. There's, again, there's loads of free audio and, uh, sorry, free sound effects and music. So this is all free to use on the Wii Video. Um, uh, but basically, Wii Video just supply this stuff uh, and it's, it's okay to use. I think it's copyright free. Um, so if you want to, maybe we could put, say, just a sound effect over, over the farming shop, for example, just because just it's a good exercise to do. So maybe if we go to the nature tab. Uh, oh no, animals. There we are. We go to the animals tab and we could find some bird song perhaps. You can play them. So there we are. There's a house sparrow. We could, if you want to click and hold and drag that into audio one. And then it's quite a long file, so if you want to... If you want to trim it down a bit just by selecting the end piece and just the, the end of the file and just trimming it. No, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just trimming it. It's just like sort of... It's not, it's not speeding it up or squashing it. It's literally just trimming it. So, so you can see that's the whole file there. Uh, oh, it's just, um, oh, if you scroll down, scroll down to sound effects. Yeah, sorry, you have to expand that. Um, yeah, I think you've expanded it. You just need to, if you click on it, click on it again. And that now scroll down. There you go. <laughs> and then animals. And then you can, it doesn't really matter which one you choose, but. I've just chosen the house sparrow one. You can play them all by hovering over a bit. Yeah. So I just dragged that into audio one. Um, yeah, audio one's good because it's it's good to say, uh, save this track for voiceover if, if we have any voiceovers. But yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, and then yeah, if you, you can trim it with the either the blue bars or, or by. Um, or, or by just trimming it in the actual timeline. <laughs> so there you've got <laughs> you've got bird song over the video. Yeah. Really? Um, ah, yes. What it is is that. You see, this is something, one thing about Wii Video is when you bring in video files that have audio attached, yeah. they don't appear in the audio channel. But it, it's, 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 it's... I can still hear the audio yeah, from... Yeah, from the video, yeah. It's like the, it's like the, the audio channels are just for audio that doesn't have any video in it. Um, so is there way you can get rid of that now? You can. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that now, yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> The audio clip, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just kind of, yeah, uh, just 
snip it in the same way you can with video. Yeah. Yeah. So some of you might have noticed that there's audio playing for the video files, like in the farming shot, or, or whatever video file you chose. We'll, we'll lower the volume of that later on. That's that's. There's a different. There's various ways of lowering volume. That you can lower volume here per track. But 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 then um, there's also other ways of adjusting the volume. Um, but for now, we'll, we'll go back to volume in a bit. Uh, but for now, we'll just do text. So because we're sort of working along the tabs along the top here. So if we, if we want to click on the text tab, and you've got basic titles here. Um, Matt, yeah. it's different from yours because everyone's got theme as well as text. But the theme, mm. the theme titles can only go on your main track. Yes. I don't know why this is different. Um, um, you probably delete them out of the normal Themes. So... Just ignore the theme. Okay. The theme folder. Okay. The, OK, actually, we can make sure we're all on. If you go to themes and just click no theme. There's lots of, there's lots of presets. Yeah, click on no theme because, won't it? Oh, you, you're OK, yeah, you're already on it. You have it selected. So just click use this theme and that's, that's fine. Yeah. Just, just to make sure we're all on the same. Yeah. So the theme goes across all of the videos. Well, it, it affects everything on the main channel. Right. Yeah. Basically, it's best not to bother with the themes, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if if, if it, I mean, yeah. No. You can, but I mean, it's um, just it gives you more control if you you know. You can swap in and out, can you? Yeah, you can. You can turn them on and off. Yeah. But it, it will only affect what's on the main track. That's why there's different. That's why there's different tracks. We've got the main and then you've got video, video one, video two, video three. You can add tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you go back to the text tab, <laughs> you go back to the text tab and if you would like to drag, say, just the te text onto video one. Yeah. You can put it wherever you want on video, but video one, it doesn't behave in the same way as the main. It's, it, it gives you a bit more freedom. And this is where you can bring up the edit mode. So the edit mode is basically when you have something selected, it happens, it, it, this applies to all clips. You have a pencil here, or you have a pencil on the clip, or you can press E, or you can double click on the clip. <laughs> so there's multiple ways of bringing up edit mode. So if you just want to double click on the clip, then you bring up the edit mode. Oh. So I just want to um, do it in a different place because I'm over the Cadarn logo here and it's a bit confusing. So if you make sure you make sure you've got the playhead over over the black, the black bit, the black uh, solid we added earlier on. If it's there. Have you? Got so. Oh, you've got a, is that blue there? Yeah. So that's okay, if you drag the text above the blue, above the blue like that, yeah. And then if you, yeah, if you put, that's okay, yeah. So has everyone dragged the text above on video one? Onto video one? So yeah, in the edit mode, you can basically just, this is just like a normal um, word, yeah, text editor. You can just type in whatever you want. Um, and you know, you, you can adjust it. You can, all the fonts are here. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. You've got size down here and Yeah. Yeah. It appears above. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you click done editing and then you've got a piece of text 
that is like is treated just like a piece of video footage. So you can you can you can extend and shrink it in the same way. So you can you can edit it. So if you want to edit it so that it just fits over the black bit, the um, if you added a black solid earlier on, yeah. If you just just edit the text so that it fits over. If you zoom if you zoom in down the bottom here, it's it's quite easy to sort of. We might want to play, play, play now to see, see what that looks like. Where are you? We're just adding text over. Oh, great. And if you press down edit, you can add text. Yeah. Okay. What's the time like? <laughs> How are we doing? Um, well, it's um, half past twelve. Oh, okay. Um, what do you want to do? Should we, should we go on to another way of fading? Uh, sorry, a way of fa not cross fades, but okay. Well, I'm ne nearly done to be honest. Okay, go on. Yeah, nearly done. Yeah. 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 Go to the toolbox setting, well, timeline settings here on the left. If you click show clip um, opacity, make sure that's selected. Make sure there's a tick box on show clip opacity. Yeah. Then the line at the top here is basically the clip opacity. And then you can hover over it and you can add a point. And when the point is at, when the, point is at the top, that means it's 100% opaque, so it's 100% visible. And then if the clip is dragged to the bottom like that, it's on zero, so it's invisible. And then, so you can create fades that way, so you can create transitions that way. Sorry? Ah, yeah, if you click over here, show clip opacity. And then, then you've got, yeah, that's it. And then you can edit those, and you can you can add in more points. So you can add a point there. You, if you click somewhere on the, you just have to actually click on the line. You, and you can click and drag that point. So that's a hundred percent. And then if you want, if you click say there, yeah. And then if you take the first one and you drag it down. To, sorry, take that one. Yeah, drag it all the way down. Then that's going to fade from zero to a hundred. So it's like another way of fading. So it'll fade in the transparency. <laughs> yeah. And then you can fade it out in the same way. So you could, you could, yeah, if you press space to stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can drag that down. And then you can click another point there and then drag it up. So it kind of goes like that and then like that and then like that. <laughs> Yeah, you probably want to put those ones on 100. Yeah. Okay. That's going to fade in and out <laughs> twice now. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, right. And like, likewise, you can do that with audio. So with the, if you click on the, um, the, bird, the bird song clip, the audio clip here, then you can click on timeline settings and you can click show clip volume instead. And it's the same principle except it's adjusting the volume of clips. So now you can you can add a point. Slow down a bit, Matt. Okay. Rather than just backtrack a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Transparency. Yeah. Yeah. So up. So yeah. When the when the dots are at the top, it's an 100 percent. So it's it's fully visible. And then if you drag the dots to the bottom, it's zero. It's 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 towards zero or zero. And then they will be invisible. So then you can create fades. 
that two hundred. Oh, I'm saying and there you go. It's fade out like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be fade all the way through. It doesn't have yeah. to fade all the way through. I've got you. So the, the the little the little timeline settings uh, button there you can you can toggle between volume and opacity. Yeah. Am I? Am I? Okay. No worries. I've not done the sound, but I'm saying okay, yeah. principle. Yeah. It's over there. I'm just concerned yeah. about what these other things are for. What I guess don't worry about those for now. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah, don't worry. You can add new tracks there. So you can yeah. add. You can add. If you click add new track, you can stack more tracks up. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's it's you yeah. Keep for now, yeah. But <laughs> it's quite easy to add more tracks and delete tracks. It's you know. Oh, oh dear. It's not nice, is it? Oh, that's what keeps happening. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Control Z. Control Z. Yeah. 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 Control Z. Oh yeah, you've got. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Oh, you're 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 well ahead. <laughs> yeah. I like this bit. Um, the dots are great. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. really do make it. Yeah. How do you get rid of a dot? Um, I think if you just delete. Oh no, sorry. Um, maybe. Undo. Have you tried Can't get rid of that one there. Though. Yeah, good point actually. It might be when you. I, I don't think you can get rid of them, but I think what what if you double click on the um, if you double click on the, uh, the the clip, just generally on the clip, and then um, that was a video clip, wasn't it? So. Oh right, yeah. Um, it done it. Yeah, that was a video clip. Sorry. Yeah, d double click on it, and you're you're adjusting. Are you adjusting opacity or volume there? Oh, well, I couldn't. I couldn't. I, 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 it's, it's opacity. Yeah. So in that case, if you go to and fade in and fade out, this is another way of doing it. And then if you click on the advanced panel, gotcha. then you can see your fade in and fade out there as well. That's okay. another way of doing the. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and then I think when you do this, it kind of overrides the points you put in. Right. Um, okay. So yeah. Override them and then yeah. Yeah. Start yeah. Again, yeah. So that's another another way of doing it. Has it done that? Oh, it hasn't. Uh, it's funny. Oh, that's oh, that's on your clip volume. That's clip. Because if you go to here. Uh, yeah, clip volume. So if you click. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I had that clicked before. Right. Okay. It jumps. Mm. I've just learned something. Yeah. So if I do the clip volume, it's volume. Yeah. Sound embedded in it. Yeah, the sound. Yeah, that's the thing. The sound embedded in the in the movie files. In the okay, yeah. Okay, I just thought. Yeah. I was just thinking anything that was video really was going to be. Bland. I thought I had both of them. Ah, yeah. No. Yeah, I know. It's a little confusing. Yeah, you can only have one selected. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So if I'm on that, then right. That's yeah. Fine. If I'm on, and that's playing with volume. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And likewise, you can double double click on there and edit the volume and and, and also. Do the fade in, fade out in the same way. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Unfortunately, Wii Video doesn't show. See, Premiere shows if you bring in video with sound in Premiere, it'll show the sound on another track. But Wii Video doesn't do that. Wii Video only it keeps the video. Yeah, the sound and the video separate sort of thing. It's uh, yeah. It's yeah. very neat though, isn't it? It's, it's good, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, mm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, okay. So likewise, basically double clicking on, on the tracks gives you options to edit, edit all the clips. So if you double click on a piece of video, You've got volume, you can adjust the volume per clip. You've got, um, you can zoom in and zo you can zoom in here. So you can, you can select your start point and your end point. And you can designate a scale for your start point and then a different scale for your end point. So you can zoom in. So you start and end. And if you play that, Basically, that's, that gives you the option of, of zooming in. And then 
colour, you've got basic colour color, uh, correction. It doesn't... I think you have to play it to actually view it. Oh, it's, 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 you can't really see it very well on this, on this screen, the difference, but... Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> then you've got green screen options if you want, and you've got speed. So yeah, that's the green screen option. Uh, we haven't really got time to go into that now. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the green screen, oh, color 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 keying. Yeah. And then you've got speed here. So you've got all these options for speed. But I mean, the, the important ones really that you probably use the most are transform, volume, um, and scale here. Transform, you can rotate stuff, so you can click. Yeah. If you're not getting the green yeah. screen option, why is that now? It's probably because it's, it might be um, an audio track. Or oh, it, well, what have you got selected? What could um, it be? It has to be a video file for the green screen option to appear. No, even then, they're not getting it. Are you, are, you in the, are you in the advanced mode or? So you've got scale, so you can scale clips here, and then you can automatically fit things if you've got images that are the wrong size. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is all in edit, edit mode by double clicking on a clip. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm afraid we'll have to just quickly go to how to export <laughs> now. <laughs> so, to export something, if you click on the publish tab. Oh, if you click done editing, done editing, and then you'll go back to the normal, the normal editing interface. And then, and then on the blue bar at the top, you've got publish. So say if you're in the timeline and you're, yes. you're here, and we do all the edit options up, you done just editing. click done editing. And then we're going to... And then we're going to go to publish, because we've publish. run out of time. Yeah, <laughs> so this is how you create your actual finished video. Um, and you've got options here. This is just the Wii video. This will just create the Wii video video. <laughs> um, and then you can link up with your Google account and YouTube if you want, but, but, but we won't do that. You always want to have it set on 720p because YouTube and Vimeo will scale automatically anyway, so you may as well just have it on the maximum setting. And you can toggle whether it's private or public. Um, and then if you click publish video, it will... I'll keep it private. No, I'll keep it public. <laughs> it'll do something. It, it'll, if you click publish video, it will, it will create a final output, basically, which you can then view on, it takes a while to encode. So that publishes it in, in, on WeVideo? On WeVideo. Right, okay. But you can, ha you can, if you link up with your Google account, yeah. it, it can automatically put it on YouTube if you want it to. Right, okay. But it's, um, it's, it's, it's easier probably just to publish it on WeVideo. And, then, and, then, and then, then you can download it. Yeah. Then you can upload it to YouTube if you want. Um, you've got the yeah. file then. Yeah, you've got yeah. the file. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of... Yeah. You can actually do more work on it if you want to. Yeah. Your project always, and then here, here shows um, sort of the, uh, this little cloud thing here shows the status of things. So it's, it's now it's publishing, basically. It's, it's encoding the video. If you're doing a very long video, this is 19 seconds, so it's taking quite a long time to publish yeah. this, isn't it? It's, it's going to take a while. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's probably the fact that we've, there's 15 of us all on one. Um, all on one network, uh, probably all on one network hub. So, uh, yeah. so it's a bit slow with all of us in yeah. the room, but if it's just you, it's um, okay. And yeah. yeah, and you can always go off and have your lunch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then oh, that? That yeah, yeah, and then when when it's done, if you go to the, I mean, it's not done yet, but if it was done, it would appear under the exports tab there, and then you can download it then. You can, you can, you can, you have your finished, finished video under exports. Um, but it's not done yet, so. 
And what form would that be in? That, yeah, that would be an MP4 file. Yeah, yeah. So, so anywhere you want to put it. Yeah, it's good, good for YouTube or Vimeo. Yeah. I just instinct sometimes. I do that. I'll do it. I understand why you're. Do you, you when you see somebody doing something? Sorry. <laughs>